Hello, this is Srinivasan, who is having more than 30 years experience in the construction industries, bidding, tendering, etc. etc. Like to give a small presentation on how to do a rate analysis. What is meant by a rate analysis? Why we require a rate analysis? How to prepare the scene? What are the factors to be considered? What to do after the rate analysis? An estimator and a tendering manager has to recognize the purpose. Why do we need a rate analysis? When a contractor wants to start a new project, they have put together the rate analysis for budgeting, for filling a tender, for a proper estimation and tendering purposes. The rates analysis will help him to fill in the BOQ in a proper fashion. Finalization of the bidding amount. Getting sanction from the management in case of the bidding amount has been filled by the tendering manager or a quantity surveyor etc etc. Government have their own rate analysis which is known as a DSR. The work out, to work out the actual budget with the, all the possibilities, the rate analysis must. To work out the material cost, labor cost, along with the overhead and profit of the particular items. To exercise the price of extra items and works which are not included in the BOQ, which should be done while the course of the construction. To revise the cost, increase or decrease the value of the job and hard work of the modification. Total changes occurred beyond the VFC in the drawing or for any object which is being carried out as per the advices given by the client or the approving authority. How to prepare the rate analysis? Prior to the assessment of the rate examination, the tendering manager or the estimator has to visit the site to analyze the prevailing rates of the various material such as cement, steel, metal, etc. etc. so that they can work out a proper costing. In the wake of getting any idea of the entirely of the above component, the estimator will prepare the proper budgeting. After taking all these uh, uh, details, he has to prepare the budgeting for which his visit to the site is mandatory. The important points of the rate analysis, rate of materials, rate of transportation, rate of machinery in case of hiring, approximate cost of overhead like water, electricity, transportation, etc. Constant of materials and labor work per unit. Component of the rate analysis. The attached pie chart will show you what is the percentage of various items involved in the rate analysis. It is purely an approximate idea which might vary according to the situation's demands. After rate analysis what to be done? After the rate analysis, estimator can put all together and do the following things. Quantity survey. The quantity survey is mandatory for doing a rate analysis. The quantity surveyor has to prepare the quantity based on the tender drawing so that the estimator can work out the rate analysis properly. Estimation. Prepare a right estimation with the assistance of the quantity survey and rate analysis. Variation in BOQ. With the available drawings, quantity confirm the BOQ. This is very useful to recognize about the variation of the actual and BOQ quantity. Preparation of the smooth document. Uh, the draft tender project paper has to be prepared by the tendering manager before getting an approval from the management. Main component of the rate analysis. The following are the main components of the rate analysis. Material 50 to 60 percentage, 
labor 25 to 30 percentage machinery is 1.5 to 2 percentage infrastructure such as a labor accommodation internal roads and other facilities 5 percentage over at 7 to 5 10 percentage HO charges 3 through 5 percentage profit 10 to 15 how to prepare a rate analysis first step to various constant for a for example for concreting by mixed recent report available in the adjoining projects or our earlier projects second step to know about the wastage of material in percentage the wastages consist of two categories one is in the raw material and one is which is going to happen at the site first wastages that is the raw material wastages is the material before start of the work which arrives at the site which include of transportation sinking bulkages in sand breakage of the material voids in murams rubbles etc the second wastages happens at site such as rmc wastages breakages of a material uh, wastage of a motor etc etc first step to know all the rates of the materials labor machineries overhead etc four step labor rate please check the labor rate with the local contractor which will enable you to divulge a proper figure before the obtaining the labor contractor rates explain the labor contractor the quantum of the job the location of the job etc etc so that the labor contractor can give a proper rate which will enable you to do the proper billing fifth step machinery rates this also uh, this also will play a crucial part in your bidding if you are hiring from the local market understand what is the rental charges they are charging in case of if you are hiring if you are using your own machineries check with the plant and machinery department how much the rental charges they are charging for the each and every month overheads overheads consist of the following things electrical charges water charges labor camp labor amenities rent if you require a storage for materials outside the project staff payment administration at site administration expenses at the ho safety and quality insurance expenses and entertainment expenses six steps preparation of the format prepare a detailed format for the submission of the management to get an approval seventh step cross check the rate along with the other contractors rates and also check the rates with your earliest contract documents which will help you to access the proper of uh, rates cross checking cross checking is mandatory you can cross check the rates you derived for a particular project in comparison with other projects or the other contractor those who are working with uh, other sites which will enable you to come to a conclusion of the what is the correct figure format or a template for the rate analysis here i have shown a rate analysis template which will enable you whenever you are doing a rate analysis kindly go through this conclusion from the above given details you will be easily understand how to prepare a cost analysis which will help you in developing yourself as a tendering manager or etc etc for further clarification you can write to me without any hesitations thank you for watching awaiting you for your feedback in case you would like the presentation kindly like share and subscribe for the channel which will motivate me to help in giving you further more good videos thank you once again